Welcome to News Click. We have with us Bajwada Wilson, a crusader against manual scavenging, and he has made his mission to see that manual scavenging is annihilated from this country. Yeah, welcome to News Click, sir. Yeah. So recently, there have been ten deaths in the capital city, and after that, there have been uh, uh, four deaths in Raipur, Chhattisgarh, and again a death in Agra. This continues. Every government is promising, but. Uh, the deaths are happening so why do you think the governments are not serious enough on this issue see i can say from the beginning i am telling that there is no political will and without the political will particularly the things about the manual scavengers are most marginalized or the dalits or the women or the minorities it is highly difficult to come to the national scenario at all Sir, uh, it is shocking that a hospital which is supposed to have precautions at every level was very careless when it comes to the workers who are working in the sanitation department. And based on that, uh, the government has your you had also sent a letter to the uh, LG uh, and also to the chief minister. And from that, they had said hundred uh, percent mechanization will happen in the sewer. Uh, so of Delhi, do you think they they are serious about that issue or? See the seriousness always the government shows when there is an incident happens. Right. Always it happens because they are also want to show that they are also so serious about the many things. But my thing is they are serious, but when the things when they comes to the implementation, they will just move away because this is not their priority. Their priorities are something different. Right. The nature of the state slowly in India is also changing. There is a no even concept of the welfare. welfare. There is a no concept of the safety security for the poor. Yeah. And the safety security means so you have to fight with the, some other country and uh, militarization and um, very masculine kind of a develop. This is the, our concept. We don't think that protection of the citizens' life is uh, actually is a very much important according to the constitutional mm -hmm. article 21. So we don't think that. In, that comes even for the LG, LNJP hospital. Mm -hmm. They think that our job is only the hospital. And how the hospital, whatever that they are disposing, where it goes, mm -hmm. you ask the medical superintendent, they have no clue. They are just that we don't know. Mm -hmm. And you ask, then they will say that it goes to the PWD. And as the PWD says, we are not, we are just throwing our water, garbage, everything to the Delhi Jail Board. You ask the Delhi Jail Board, we have some employees, uh, they clean, how much they can clean, the rest of the things we are throwing. Even now. So there is a no connectivity or a kind of a overall understanding about what we are throwing, where it is going, who are the people are involved in cleaning this, why they are involving in this. Why the particular only one community is involved all these years? This one has to deeply uh, think and understand and be open-minded. Yeah. So in that context, see the government is saying that they can they have control over the sewage system. But if you see in Githorni and other parts, uh, the mall in uh, Shadra, it happened in a private space. But uh, there is the, the government is saying they have no control over it. That, but do you think uh, that is a valid? Uh... See, I can come directly and say when Delhi Jal Board in Jal Vihar Road in front of their office, just it happened. Mm -hmm. The last incident it happened Delhi Jal Board. Yeah. So that is the, their silver line. How can they escape? And in the Indira Gandhi National. Art and Cultural Center yeah. next to the Shastri Bhavan right. that is the, they call the Lotinas or something or the other that is the same place the people died three yeah. Yeah. then how can they escape and their sewage treatment plant that Vinay on the Diwali day he died yeah. so my submission is very clear that what they are claiming or what they want to escape is also not as an, any valid reason and they can say very openly we have some lacunas we have some lapses which we want to do like this this step one by two then we can trust they always the government attitude towards the marginalized always is in a denial mode they will first say that no we don't have like that and when you start proving 
So who has to prove? The victim has to go and prove that you are doing wrong. As if that they don't know what they are doing. Right. When they are killing 1470 people, already you kill. So how can you just say that I don't know? And we are not responsible. I can state very clearly with the very conviction that whatever deaths happening in the sewer line and septic tank, for all the deaths, is the state and the central governments are there. Responsible. responsible prime minister is the responsible all the chief ministers are the responsible nobody else first they must take because the protection of the life of the scavenger should be the topmost priority in the national security safety dignity and protection of the democracy if not whole democracy whatever we are thinking it is going to be the waste so in that context the hyderabad the water board so which you also had gone as an expert, they had recently introduced uh, with the help of uh, the Dikki, the Dalit entrepreneurs, uh, the, the Dikki claims that about 38 uh, people who have themselves from the manual scavenging community have, own, have bought the mini Jetta machines and they are engaging with the municipality. Do you think that is uh, See, I was solution. part of the Hyderabad Metro yeah. Water and Sewage yeah. Board, the managing director right. discussions. Yeah. When it has come to, I suggested first you have to buy the smaller machines, machines. not just with the big gulfer tanks and the jet. Yeah. He said that if you are available, we will buy. Right. And we intimated him where it is available, all those things. And he also verified and he found. Oh. He felt that it is a good to give a contract to the you know, Dalit institution. Right. Dalit institution is not a form of actually finding the solution for right. this. But the Dalit institution have got the, a kind of a order. Right. So there we requested very clearly there should be the manual scavengers rehabilitation also part of this. Right. So only few they are claiming that we have to see that how long it is going to do. But moreover that the Hyderabad Metro Water and Seaways Board has come forward to find out and explore the possibilities of engaging the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited right. Bangalore yeah. to find out a kind of a mechanized way of the cleaning right. and the removing that other things also carcasses and the, the muck and everything like. So if it works out well that can be the one model which can replicate in other right. states. So in that context, the PMO claims that it is the PMO who has ordered HAL to Hindustan Aeronauticals but had seen reports that in August 6th itself, you along with others had a meeting in Hyderabad. Is that not right? No, actually the HAL came into the picture because I had an, a close association with the HAL okay. and I am writing letters to the all the public sector industries, not just HAL. Okay. And there the some person who is also linked with the manual scavenging community, he showed some interest and he came all the way to the Delhi okay. and he discussed with me and I suggested him why can't you come to the Hyderabad. Mm. He came to the Hyderabad to meet the MD okay. along with the another person. Both are uh, actually as a uh, design persons in the HAL helicopters. Okay. So they know the technology and they said that in India we have the already the technology available. The only thing is we have to adapt the technology to the local requirement. So that the Hyderabad Metro Water and Seaways Board reported to the Prime Minister's office there was a meeting. So in turn the Prime Minister's office is claiming and stating that we are placing this with the HAL Bangalore or something. That is what we are not here to claim anything. If we want to save the life of the people of this country. Right. So in that context, uh, th there are two acts, the 1993 Act and the 2013 Act. Have any cases been lodged? Because in report, only two persons in the Delhi government have been arrested. But otherwise, across the country, any... Uh, See, 93 Act, almost I can say no. no. They have not filed any cases. Okay. 2013 Act came, but they have not filed but they have issued some notice or something recently past one year after we started collecting the data about the deaths of the scavengers in the sewer line and septic tank 
in Bangalore, in Hyderabad and a few places they filed. Okay. But it is just on the FIR level. It has not gone to the chat sheet level. Okay. So the prosecution must start and it has to exactly bring what are the things happened like. Okay. So in Delhi they have arrested one person. He is the baildar. Mm -hmm. So somebody approached me yesterday stating that he is the baildar. I said he is the baildar or subedar. I don't matter. For me it is not matter. You have to discuss with the your police station and your authority. Mm -hmm. And why the engineer is not going. You ask. Your union must do all those things. Yeah. I am not a person who decide everything. Whom to put in jail. Whom to send the, out of right. the jail. is not my job. Yeah. But I must say very clearly, according to the act, whoever is a responsible must go to the jail. So, I mean, this is through my personal observation when I visited the hospital, when the workers were narrating, it looked like they were not organized at all and they were at the mercy of the supervisors. So, from the movement, uh, any plans to... See, there is an, a problem with this uh, sewage and septic tank case. Exactly what happened, they are not organized because they are in the contractors. They are under the contracts and the contracts will work for the some time then it will vanish. Then again the contractor will take some other place the contract. So the people who worked under that contractor also is not continuing right. number one. Number two there are the people who are migrated only majority is working. So that two reasons there is a very difficult and the contractors are cautioning or giving a kind of a warning to the all the contract labor. If they form any union, the next day they are stopping from the job. So that is the very clear this thing. But we had discussions with the other Delhi Jal board and others yeah. to actually to have their own union. Okay. Thereby one. And second is we are saying that they cannot allow any human being. Right. They should not allow any human being to enter into the sewer right. line. Either through the contractor or through the Delhi Jal, whatever way. Yeah. So, if once it comes, then there is no point of even organizing them as an union. Mm -hmm. That they have to reposition to other jobs. So, there they will become a, some other non-scavenging occupations. Yeah. So, there they can be organized, not as an, a this identity. Because we don't want this identity. So, uh, there is a circular, I believe, that if any of the manual scavenger person or who is in the sanitation department has passed 10th class, they are allowed to uh, move into a clerical job. But many reports have come that the circular itself is not being allowed to come to surface. Say, uh, workers in the railway department had said that they ensure there are many qualified uh, people from the community, but they are not allowed to get promotion because the railway department says that the circular doesn't exist. So you're No, there is a circular. I am aware of that. Mm -hmm. It is almost like a... 25-30 years before right. the circular has come, particularly from the scavenging or the sanitation yeah. sector, whoever completed their 10th class or right. something can be repositioned to the supervisor for the same right. because they are ex become an expert right. how to do the work they know. Okay. So they can super or they can move to the any other clerical jobs. Right. But the many agencies, particularly public sector or the private sector, it is not at all implementing. Nobody is caring that. Particularly Indian Railways is a big violator. So, they are largest employer and they are the big violator. They never ever even implemented even a single scheme for the sake of the liberation or the rehabilitation of the manual scavengers. From 1993, they are still in the denial mode. And they are running just, just same like that. But they completely ignore the, the welfare of the people. So on this note we end. It is struggle, struggle and struggle till we are recognized as human beings. Till then thank you sir.